Good morning and welcome to Against the Public for August August 7th. I'm Dana Lane. Today we're going to go through my top three Major League Baseball plays as we usually do. We're going to try to build on another winning night that we had uh, last night. An incredible run over the last uh, seven to ten days. We've been absolutely phenomenal. So I, hopefully everybody's been able to jump on board. I know we've had some guys leave some messages that where they've won uh, pretty big amounts of money. A $10,000 uh, $8,000, $6,000. So uh, I appreciate everybody that leaves kind comments. I, I love the fact that you guys are winning and doing well. And we're going to try to keep that going on Wednesday. As usual, we'll finish up the show with our handicapping tip of the night. Today, we're going to examine innings pitched and analyze if we should back pitchers with a ton of innings pitched uh, against other uh, starters that do not. So if you have, uh, say, in one outing, you have a pitcher that has thrown, say, over 100 120 innings, 130 innings against somebody who's thrown 50 innings. Who has the advantage there? And of course, in that scenario, you always want to make sure that you put a filter of $1.50 on the on the game because we don't want to be laying uh, $2.30 on any game. So we'll go through that a little bit later. After the show, please go to pickdogs.com. I'll have my premium Major League Baseball plays loaded up. And don't forget tomorrow. Uh, we're on the eve of an entire weekend of preseason football, so I'll have every play this weekend in preseason football up on PickDogs.com uh, about Wednesday afternoon, maybe Wednesday morning, uh, just kind of sewing up a few other things. So I uh, want to make sure that we give you uh, absolutely the best plays. And remember last year, plus 4,000 units between the National Football League and college football. So make sure that you get involved right now. You don't want to start in, in October. You want to start right now uh, so we can maximize your profits throughout 2024 and 25. You can jo join me for every uh, one of my single plays that I really or you can jump on a Major League Baseball three-pack or an NFL exhibition three-pack. Both are just $49.99. And of course, they, the individual plays and the three-pack comes with our Pick Dogs win guarantee that states you must profit or receive an immediate site credit for the purchase price. In addition, you know there's only one way to get every play that I release, and that's to simply become an all-access member. And this is the time to do it. This is a start of football season. Let's make a long-term commitment, even if it's over the next 30 days. You can do that for less than $11 a day the next 90 days. That will take you through a few months of uh, the NFL in college football. Uh, you can do that for less than $10 a day, or better yet, just jump on that annual all-access pass, throw it on the credit card. You can do that for less than $3.70 a day. So join me right now. This is the time. Don't miss a single day of the NFL and college football season. As I mentioned, uh, we're one day away from a full, full slate of NFL games, and we're 17 days away from the college football season. So jump on board right now. I have my premium preseason NFL selection package locked and loaded on pickdogs.com. You can get every play in the preseason for just $199.99. And if you missed out on last year, don't make that mistake in 2024-25. Okay, on to your free plays for Wednesday. And remember, these are probable pitchers, so please make sure that you double check uh, who is getting the ball before you make your wagers on Wednesday. We'll start things off 110 Eastern Time, 925-926, Arizona Diamondbacks. On the road, minus $1.25, eight under minus $1.07 against the Cleveland Guardians. Brandon fought against Carlos Carrasco. Looks like the weather's not gonna be a problem in this one, so we're gonna proceed normally. Um, no wind to, th to talk about. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain uh, in Cleveland as it has been. And there is very little doubt who the public is on, uh, which side the public is on in this one. Almost all the, diamond, all the money is going on the Diamondbacks. 83% of the tickets is on the Diamondbacks, so the Pros and the Joes are both on the same side. The Joes are also going to be on uh, the over with 94% of the money going in that direction with just over 800 tickets monitored. Brandon Fought, 5-6 and six this season, 3.97 ERA. Uh, he gets the ball for the Snakes after a couple poor starts. Uh, I guess poor. Uh, last one was okay against the Pittsburgh Pirates. He allowed eight earned runs in his last 11 innings. 14 hits in that span as well, 6.55 ERA. But if you take a little bit of a step back and look at his, his last five outings, not just his last two against the Pirates, he's been fantastic. 2-0, and a 1.59 ERA. And to, to give you an idea of how good he was, 
or has been that 1.59 ERA even factors in his last two start, starts against the Pirates, which you know were, were less than uh, par for, for Brandon Fott. But he allowed prior to those Pirate starts just one earned run over his last 17 and a third innings. Carrasco's 3-9 in 2024, 5.53 ERA. He's coming off a decent outing against the Baltimore Orioles, even though he lasted just four and a third innings, but he did only allow one hit. Problem is four walks, and he threw 79 uh, pitches. So he should be rested, but as we know, he's got to cut down on his walks in this one. I thought we might be getting an 8.5 as far as the total is concerned, but we are dealing with an 8 which to me seems to be begging the public to go over the total and we are going to go against the public in this one with an under bet so we're going to go under the eight minus the dollar seven and a game number two is 6 40 eastern time 901 902 san diego padres on the road minus a dollar 43 eight under minus 15 against the pittsburgh pirates michael king against marco gonzalez and i'm not going to mention the participants in this song but there was a former rolling stone song and uh later done by guns and roses um and the line in the <laughs> the line in that um song is i was around and i changed the i changed the lyrics a little bit here but i was around when the pittsburgh pirates had their moment of doubt and pain and i feel like that's where the pirates are right now they trail uh, the wild card standing uh, trail the san diego padres in a wild card standing by five games that was a massive game one for them to win they trailed the braves by four for the last wild card spot and i just feel like and i'm looking at the schedule and we went through this the other day that this is the time where the pirates say that we tried we went out and we got a couple good players at the deadline we tried to make this happen we just don't have enough this year and i think that's what's going to happen over the next week or so uh, but your ace gets beat you have a lack of run production which is something we've talked about for most of the season your new acquisition and acquisitions and isaiah kiner uh, uh falefa and brian de la cruz there were a combined five and five for 26 with nine strikeouts 192 average and to me the pirates gave it their shot they have too much of a gauntlet of a schedule to gain ground right now marco gonzalez one and one 3.72 era was smashed by the diamondbacks in his last outing allowed seven hits four earned runs in two and a third innings over his last two starts gonzalez owns an era of 7.71 and king is nine and six this year 3.26 era 144 k's and 124 in the third innings those are not the guys that the pirates usually thrive against and his last five starts king has given up just six earned runs in 30 and two-thirds innings that's a 1.76 era with 35 strikeouts we're taking san diego minus a dollar 43 and then game number three 940 eastern time 923 90 24 detroit T tigers against the seattle mariners mariners minus a dollar 32 six and a half under minus 15 Tarek Skubal against George Kirby. All season long, bookmakers have been giving, giving Tarek Skubal an incredible amount of respect. And now against George Kirby, who's coming off an outing where he kind of tiptoed around base runners for most of the game against the Boston Red Sox. They put a number up like Scooble is just a little bit above average. And and 20 starts this year, Scooble has been an underdog underdog just eight times he split those games a four and four record a little bit of a profit there but nine and five as a favorite not only has Scooble not been a dog much but he's never been this big of an underdog uh, with the previous high being plus a dollar 19 against the Atlanta Braves this has made me a little bit skeptical about this game especially with Scooble one and four when he's getting plus a dollar nine or more uh, but with Seattle dropping 12 of the last 19 including the, season, the series opener as a two dollar two dollar favorite um, it's really hard not to go with the plus money in this one the only reason I don't think that this is a trap number is because Kirby's been absolutely terrific over his last four starts he's allowed just four earned runs in 24 and a third innings that's a 1.48 era this isn't a trap number even though 70 percent of the tickets are on seattle but professional money sees an opportunity as do i we're going to take detroit plus a dollar 22 as your third free pick and then at, before we go today i wanted to break down team records 
when facing a pitcher that has thrown a various amount of innings in 2024. And this is going to give us give us an idea of how to attack games deep into the season, whether it's late in, uh, in August or it's in September. It will give us an idea how to attack games when we're looking at uh, brand new AAA call-ups or guys that have been injured that are just getting back into the 2024 season against pitchers that are more seasoned, that have been there all year long. So here's the break it, breakdown. Going against pitchers with 10 innings or less, you would have a record of 383 and 35, uh, 356, a 518 win percentage, minus 17.26 units. 11 to 20 innings, 191 and 194, minus 12.03 units. 21 to 30, 171, 166, minus 6.64 units. 31 to 40, 139 and 143, minus 13.2. Uh, zero two units and 41 to 50 as a turn a little bit of a profit here if you go against pitchers that have just 41 to 50 innings this year 132 122 plus 6.11 units so combined zero to 50 if you win against pitchers with just zero to 50 innings pitched this season you would be a combined one 1073 wins 1022 losses a 512 win percentage minus 31.03 units now the best teams to wager with uh, in this scenario, while well, the Cleveland uh, Guardians have uh, smashed uh, opponents almost all year long, but particularly in this situation, they have uh, they got off to that good start. So you're looking at a bunch of pitchers that have pitched under 50 innings, at, but season total 46 and 23 plus 17.71 units. Something to keep in mind going down the stretch. Uh, Baltimore 44 and 24 plus 9.84 units. And Washington, 31 and 34 plus 9.55 units. The worst teams, the Chicago White Sox, 20 and 52 minus 22.57 units. Miami, 24 and 48 minus 17.47. And Cincinnati, 30 and 41 minus 13.20. Okay, so let's up it a little bit more. Uh, let's see what the record is when you go against uh, pitching, uh, pitchers with just 51 to 60 innings pitched. You would be 118 and 108, just 10 games over 500, plus 6.48 units. 61 to 70, 101 and 107, minus 11.23 units. 71 and uh, 71 to 80 innings pitched, 84 and 101, minus 19.75 units. 81 to 90, 87 and 82, 6.46 units. There's some profit there. And 91 to 100 innings, 75 and 81, minus 3.75 units and 50 if we just went 51 uh, to 100 if we combined them all if you went against pitchers with 51 to 100 innings pitch you'd be 486 and 514 a 486 win percentage minus 34.80 units but there are teams that are really good in that situation and one is the cincinnati reds who are 23 and 13 plus 13.80 units Arizona 19 and 15 plus 6.02 units and Milwaukee 23 and 16 plus 3.58 units. The bad White Sox of course lead the lead the pack in almost every category that's not good. 8 and 25 12.74 units lost. Los Angeles Angels 10 and 20 minus 7.21 units and Philadelphia 14 and 17 minus 7.09 units might be something to look at as uh, the Phillies go down the stretch and they are struggling. Now we'll we're not going to go by tens anymore. We're just going to say okay when you go against pitchers that have more than 100 innings pitched, 101 to 200 innings, your record would be 134 and 147 at 477 win percentage. A little bit of a profit of 1.80 units. And the Miami Marlins are the best when uh, facing pitchers with 100 or more innings. They're 7 and 4 this year. 8.51 innings makes no or 8.51 units. That makes no sense whatsoever. This also doesn't make any sense. Los Angeles Angels 7 and 2 plus 7.14 units. Tampa Bay 8 and 3 plus 6.07 units teams you want to go you don't want to be uh, betting on when facing a pitcher with over 100 innings chicago white Sox have not won a game in that scenario this year 0 and 11 minus 11 units atlanta 3 and 7 minus 4.55 units and the st louis cardinals minus uh, 3.96 units behind a record of two and six so i thought there might be a little bit more meat on the bone with this but one takeaway uh, could be 
to not go against pitchers down the stretch when it appears to be a mismatch and trying to get the big plus money. So as you will see down the stretch, as teams start to separate, which you will see more and more as the season progresses, you'll start to see you know, as high as $3. You'll see $3.50, maybe, maybe even a $4. I remember seeing $4. So we don't want to really bite on that. So you don't want to go into a scenario where the pitcher that is pitching for the team that is a big underdog has less than less than 100 innings pitched. You don't really want to get involved in that scenario. But um, go against the kids with the low inning totals. And that means less than 50. When there's a call up, go against those uh, pitchers uh, when you are betting on pitchers that have over 100 innings. So when you have uh, a lot of innings versus a little innings and a little amount of innings and the money line is kind of where you want it to be under $1.50 and you might have to find that uh, with the better team on the road because at home you're going to have those inflated money lines. That's kind of the scenario that we're talking about here. Nothing massive, but maybe just a little bit, another nugget to kind of put in your handicapping toolbox. Over the last three seasons, going against pitchers with more than 100 units or 100 innings would have blown up your bankroll, taking almost 99 units behind a record of 1,046 and 1,206 of 465 win percentage. So get those season, bet, uh, season pitchers on your betting card, but make sure we do it at a money line that is acceptable and not something that's going to eat up your money uh, because we've spent a great deal of time trying to build the money we're not going to give it up in the last month and a half if there's anything you'd like me to research please just drop me a comment on the youtube ch youtube channel i'll get to it if i have the numbers which i almost always do and that does it for today's wednesday free plays and handicapping tip of the day please go to pickdogs.com Get involved with one of my many available packages, including that all-access pass that will give you every NFL preseason play along with uh, the Major League Baseball season. If you get it long enough, you can go right into the NHL season and we'll start uh, if you get that annual pass that will also give you the NBA and college basketball and Major League Baseball up to this point next year. So thank you so much to everybody that has done that so far. Uh, we are going to have a great, uh, great ending to the Major League Baseball season. We've had a terrific couple weeks here on the free plays and football starting. You know that is our strongest year so or is part of the year. So make sure you do get involved. Here's our Wednesday free play recap. Arizona Cleveland under eight minus a dollar seven. San Diego minus $1.43 and Detroit plus $1.22. That does it for today's show. Thank you to everyone who watches on a daily basis. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you, everybody just hit the like and the subscribe button. I mean, every play that I put out there on video uh, gets sent to you immediately so uh, that's the benefit of subscribing uh, the like button I, I don't know everybody says it so i guess we'll we'll say it too but thank you to everybody who takes the time to do that for against the public i'm dana lane all the best to you and your wagers on wednesday